<laughs> Welcome to another episode of Boomer vs. Uber! Yeah! yeah! I just had a, a, a shot of espresso, like, not even that long ago, but I'm cracking this juvie because uh, I need something in my hands. So, uh, is that called oral fixation? No. <laughs> oh, wrong word, wrong word. Is it not? Wrong what word. is oral, oral fixation? I oral fixation is like... Something in your mouth. Oh, like, yeah, you something, something in your in mouth. mouth. I mean, it's yeah. almost... Something. I need a juvie in my mouth right now. Oh. Anyway, mm. this is the worst intro ever. We've got Andy and Michelle as Ooh. guests today. But not only that, we also have our very own Wex. <laughs> he forgot what? my name. <laughs> That's how you know when somebody says someone and then they proceed it by because what I've been adjective? doing intros for like three months. I know. And then you have not been here. Whose fault is that? I haven't been here. I had uh, the baby. Who's the cr oh, your baby? Is baby? <laughs> yeah, just... yeah, baby. Uh, no, I've been on paternity leave for three and a half months. So I left at the end of January, and I just came back yesterday. Congratulations! So I've been busy. I also got engaged. <gasps> that's, that's huge. Awesome. That's, that's huge. So Wait, that sounds cute. so sarcastic. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome, <laughs> dude. That's wow. Great. Good for you. Wow. No, it that's was a long time. It was a long time coming. <laughs> You know. Congratulations, though, man. That's awesome. Yeah, Thanks, yeah that's man. so cute. It's been good, but I'm, cool. I'm glad to be back. Dude, I saw your tweet saying, like, oh, like you're coming back from paternity leave. And I'm just yeah. like, holy shit. Has it already been three months? It ha that's crazy. Well, there was probably a moment where you were like, uh, uh, is this guy ever coming back? And then you kind of forget me. And then I'm like, I'm coming back. I never forgot. Like, you. Oh yeah! Every time Nathan <laughs> sat in your chair, I was like, this fucking imposter. <laughs> Who does he think he is? No, they've been holding it down. They've been holding it down. No, yeah. We've been we've been producing some stuff while you're gone. But then I mean we're just really glad to have you back. Well, I don't Be know. Back, Logan's man. been talking some shit, but like I mean he always does. <laughs> <laughs> he always does though. But yeah. We have Andy and Michelle in today. And I honestly I saw them on the OTV podcast. I was like, fuck. I wanted them first. I just forgot <laughs> to ask. But anyway, I'm glad to guy uh, 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 I'm glad to have you guys here. How you Thanks guys for doing? having us. Thanks for having us. It was good. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. Excited. We're yeah. not nervous at all. Not nervous. Yeah. How many podcasts have you guys been on? I think this three. This is the fourth one. Yeah, this is the fourth that's one. That's a that's a pretty good amount. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Wh which ones have you been on besides OTV? Uh, UTI and um, UTI. Yeah, they're yeah, called UTI. Under the under influence. Under the influence. But I think they did it on purpose. <laughs> I think, okay. they, yeah. They, they, had the yeah. they had to have. Yeah. 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 So UTI and then, and then the um, Down Bad, down bad show, show and then OTV. OTV. Yeah. Cool. All right, yeah. which one was your favorite to your least favorite? Go. Oh, God, okay. <laughs> OTV I is our favorite. Yeah. And then it's got to be, I mean, we haven't filmed this yet, but this yeah. might take the first spot. Sorry, OTV. I mean, I don't know. We'll see. And then the others. Honestly, it's okay. Like, <laughs> the episode was with Yvonne, so it's more, you're just saying, fuck Yvonne, as yeah. saying, fuck OTV. So I get it. You're fuck, right. Because fuck Yvonne. I'm just kidding. Totally. What? No, yeah. Kind of. 50%. Yeah. But yeah. But it's um, cool seeing everyone's setups. Dude, it's very I, different. Yeah, it's very different. I know, like, OT, I've been on the OTV podcast, I think, like, once or twice. Mm -hmm. And, like, they definitely have, like, a very casual kind of, like, laid back feeling where you're just, like, sitting at a table with some mm -hmm. homies. Mm -hmm. We have the, uh, the, the double couch, uh, porn production setup where we. Yeah, this really is fire. Yeah, yeah. We this is really, a really I'm really liking this. Yeah. Yeah, I'm waiting for Peter to walk behind me and go, hey, so do you want to buy the house or not? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I, uh, you know, just like my role model, Johnny Sins, I take on many <laughs> jobs, uh, astronaut, teacher, doctor, nurse, uh, plumber, <laughs> et cetera, whatever plumber? I need to do. Yeah, exactly. Do you, could you have ever seen yourself as like a porn star? Oh, no. definitely not. Yeah. I, I don't think I, re I like how you answered for Andy. <laughs> that's that's oh, amazing. Yeah. Oh. I don't think I meet the requirements, uh, to, to do, um, that. Meet the requirements? Oh, well, can you? What specify? requirements? Um, because now Michelle's you know. confused. No, oh. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But um, I just, I don't think it's for me, you know? <laughs> <laughs> he keeps it within the boys. Listen, we're married. She can't leave now. So, you know, that I, can, is I, can, I, can, I can say whatever I want, but, you know, I don't think I meet the Yeah? You the look specifications. so stressed right now. <laughs> <laughs> Can you feel my gaze on you right yeah, now? Yeah, no. I, I just don't meet the requirements. Yeah, honey. Do you want to be a porn star? No, I don't. Ever. No, it's not for me. Yeah. <laughs> Michelle's my first and my last. Yeah. All right. Uh, All right. Yeah. That's, so that's bullshit. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? That's bullshit. The which part, which of, part of that? <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Anyway. <laughs> uh, wait, so how long have you guys been married now? I've been married almost three years now. Um, been together for about, coming on eight now, right? 
six. No, twenty seventeen. Six. Six, apparently. <laughs> Damn. We've been married you know what's too. so funny? Every time what's happening those we get two asked, years? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay. Every time we get asked this question, the number uh, slowly goes higher and higher. No, there's always it's always different in numbers. Like every time we get asked, it's like, is it six or is it seven? You're like, I, think it's I know seven we've been married for two though. You know, at yeah. least. I think. Right? Looks at me for validation. Yeah, because <laughs> she's the numbers woman, you know. I don't know numbers. Yeah, the anniversary rolls around, it's like happy. Anniversary, <laughs> not specified anniversary? number. <laughs> yeah, and then it's an awkward ride home. He's like, babe, you don't remember? And I'm like, I, th I think it's like two or three. But then you remember when whoever somebody was um, traded in from this basketball team and all this stuff. Oh, yeah, NBA, yeah. I mean, that's important. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <What the? clears> Listen, <clears throat> uh, wait, who's your, who's your NBA team? I'm a... Right, I'm gonna get heat for this, but I am a diehard Boston Celtics fan. Mm -hmm. oh, but because right. of, but because of sponsorships and stuff, um, I am a resident Lakers fan. Yeah. Oh. Not a fan. I like LeBron. I like watching LeBron play because he's just amazing mm -hmm. and he's the goat. Mm -hmm. But you know, I'm a. I hate the Lakers as a. Uh, I can't say this because we're gonna get dropped you from don't stuff. Hate but the I I appreciate the Los Angeles Lakers. And how they play. Damn, you're gritting your teeth while saying that. You are like, it's like killing me. It's a good you know, thing you didn't wear your hat. Like we did, we did a sponsorship not too long ago where they sent us to the Lakers game, and it was like, it was like courtside seats, right? Mm -hmm. Like they're twenty thousand dollar seats, and we went, and I'm like, holy shit, this is insane. But they're wearing Lakers uniforms, and I'm just like, man, I love the Lakers. Yeah, like the Lakers are we awesome. We saw LeBron. Yeah, I stood next to LeBron. Okay. And, like watching on TV. You're like, oh wow, like they're tall, but like you don't understand how. I mean, he probably understands how tall oh, yeah, they are. What the fuck? I'm only like, like fucking six like six one. something. Yeah, the NBA players are like six one. No, NBA players, I think on average are like six seven. Is that the Holy average? Shit. I'm not kidding. I think the average oh, height like of an five. Was it? Yeah. So, I mean, six someone one's got like a point Wally, guard. You got, a you got a computer? Can you look yeah, it up for me? And so I, like we're we're walking across like the court to like go to our seats, and these guys are like. Dude, like, these guys are like ginormous. I'm like up to their like belly button. Yeah, and I'm like, oh my gosh, the TV doesn't do justice for these guys. These guys are like literal towers. Yeah. Six six. Yeah. Average is average six six. NBA players. Yeah. Six, six six. Yeah. Okay, well you're five eight, so. It's wow, tall you really had to lock that. Listen, five eight is not short. You know, okay. the cameras might not do me justice. I'm taller in person. No, I'm not tall. I'm, I'm just gonna just let that one ride. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not that tall. Five eight's not short. Yeah. No. Muggsy no, Bogues. You know no, five was average. five three. Okay, five. five, eight. Who's Muggsy five three? Bogues, I, oh. basketball player. Oh. He was five three. He was five three. What? He played in the NBA. Yeah. What year did he As play? What? He played back in like uh, the nineties. Oh. Exactly yeah. my point. You know what I mean? Basketball is different nowadays. I mean, Nate Robinson short. was five nine. Mm. And he dunked over and Dwight. And he was in the dunk contest. Damn. Oh, wait, that's actually really He dunked good. over Shaq and Dwight. Yeah. Shaq? He dunked over Dwight. No way. At least. That's mm. crazy. Which is insane. That's fucking insane. That's yeah. actually crazy. My, I have like a two inch vertical when I <laughs> jumping. I'm not kidding. I somehow like go deeper into the ground when I attempt to jump. I don't have the joints or the structural support to fucking jump high for some goddamn reason. Bro, two inch vertical? That's like walking. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> you literally jump lower than you I walk. probably trip higher than I jump, I'm gonna be honest, okay? This shit's a struggle. I just remember I always disappoint every, like, sporting event. You know, it's like, oh, Peter, you're tall, you should, like, guard for a basketball game. And then I'll play, like, a pickup game with oh, some man. friends, and they'll be like, damn, you really can't fucking jump, dude. <laughs> That's crazy. This guy is 5'7", and he's, like, dunking over you and grabbing rebounds over you. How is that fucking possible? I'm like, dude, I thought this was, like, a church basketball game. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are fucking mean. God damn. I don't, I'd rather be 6'1", six, six though. I think height and, like, quote-unquote being unathletic is much better than being 5'8", and, like, Mildly athletic. Really? Because I, dude, I'm sorry, Michelle. I am checking out your husband's body a lot. Mm. He is shirtless okay, quite you're often. You're not the only one. Yeah. So a lot of people on his in his Twitter DMs that are men checking out his yeah, body. A lot of men. Yeah. They're I, like, bro, mostly you look men. freaking fantastic. I'm like, thanks, bro. This is what I do it for. Male dude, validation. There is that meme where it's like the guys are like, okay, I'm gonna get fucking fit and get all this female attention, right? Oh, but yeah, what yeah. ends up happening is like other dudes, other bros are like, damn, man. No. The, you look good. The best feeling at the gym is when dudes come up to you and they're like, bro, 
I'm looking jacked, man. I'm like, thanks, bro. That's like the number one validation I look for. Mm. Dude, bro on bro validation. We need more of that for sure. That makes yeah. sense. That's what matters. Yeah. Yeah. Male to male validation yeah. is yeah. top tier. That's a thing. Like, I want to lock eyes with you and be like, Andy, nice <laughs> cock, bro. Oh, <laughs> we're having a good cock day for sure. Yeah. I like how that thing is hanging. You know what I mean? That's what you, I want you hanging. to say to me. That's what I want me? you. To, I want you to say that to me. Yeah. But. Why don't you? Why have you I, ever said What that did I do? When have you ever said that to me? I say it all the time. No. Nice cock, cat. bro. Nice cock, bro. <laughs> she's never she's never said nice cock to me. Ever. You, In our marriage of seven, six years. <laughs> <laughs> she's never said, babe, you have happened such a in one nice of those cock. gap. She's years. never said this to me one time. Yeah. You know? The shape, configuration, girth, the trimmage. Yeah. Like after, Good. after I lay back. After we're done, I'm just like, wow, that was the best. And I look over at her and she's just like. So you want me to. She's just like. So afterwards, <sighs> during pillow talk, right? You want me to turn to you and just be like. That was a fucking nice cock. No, you she's, want me to be like, you got a nice cock, bro. Why does that have, have to be a pillow talk? <laughs> why can't you say that in the moment or anything? You just never validate me. Okay, you have a nice cock, bro. Very nice. Now it feels just forced. That's so forced out. <laughs> like, I, I, like, why? In front of I all these guys? Mean- like, you, you just tell me in per, like, you know, in private. You've yeah. never said that to me. Yeah. Anyways. What the fuck? <laughs> we have a lot of stuff happened? to talk about. Don't get married, guys. I, I actually am starting to feel like a like a marriage counselor right now. Like, mm. <laughs> Michelle, why is it that you don't tell Andy, nice cock, bro? <laughs> why do you feel this way? Do you feel is invalidated? This, is this funny for you? <laughs> Are you enjoying this? Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, when's the last time you told Michelle, nice cock, bro? Let's be honest. Yeah. It has to go I tell her all the time. The fuck? I'm like, babe, that was great. That was fantastic. She just never reciprocates anything to me. And I'm just like, well, this I, I mean, just go, thank you, you too. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> it's like, well, okay. I will say though, Anita has been had like a sharp uptick of like jokes about her slapping my face with her massive cock lately. Oh. She's like, oh my god, I'd say those jokes too. Does Anita like hump you when yes. you're like bending over yes. to do stuff? Dude, yeah. It I just freaking drives love me doing crazy. That. She's like, like slam I'm I mean, I low key kind of am into it a little <laughs> oh. bit. Like I like when it comes to like uh, love language, physical touch is way up there. So if she's like slamming her pelvis into me while I'm picking something up from the ground, I'm just like, I'm like kind of into it, man. You're like, do it again. <laughs> Whenever I walk upstairs, she like tries to like, f- you know, put a finger up my butt and stuff, and it's just you not- know. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not super into in my butt penetration stuff. Are we allowed to? Oh, you know, <laughs> fuck it. We're already there. An unsponsored episode. Oh, oh great. Oh, fantastic. Good. We love hey, those. Let's talk let's about hell butt yeah, stuff. dude. We love those. You know I mean, butt stuff. I had an ex try to like creep one of her crawlers up while we were like creep doing some, you know? <laughs> and I was just like, hey, whoa. What? <laughs> Unnecessary roughage. Like, what is this? <laughs> what are you doing? You, you think you can just sneak that in there and I won't fucking notice like a thief in the night or some shit? <laughs> so, yeah, like, that's when I found out, like, not super open to that personally, but like. A lot cool. of dudes are just flipping over to the dark side, man. They're saying it's, it's bomb. Well, I don't, I, dude, I mean, I, I'm gonna just say that. What was it? Our prostate is there or something? Male G spot. Yeah. yeah, the male G spot is up there, which is like, why? Why would we we be made this way if we weren't meant to explore mm. well, unexplored I think frontiers? It's because, well, do you guys do you spend a lot of time in the bathroom? Like when you go to the toilet, it's like this is my moment That's to like, be. Alone. You know, I'm trying not to though. I take like 30 minutes in there. See, you know, I'm, I'm not the only one. And she gets so I go to the bathroom. I'm like, oh, can you watch the baby? She's like, how long are you gonna be? <laughs> Oh my god! Like, is it is it gonna be one of your long ones? <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. I'm gonna sit there and whatever happens happens. But yeah, I'm sitting there and I'm on my phone and whatever. Going back to the point, when we poop, you know, there's a little like. Are you saying once it, it goes feels down good when you poop? It feels good because it hits the <laughs> prostate. I'm pretty sure. Did you just sexualize pooping? <laughs> Bro. Yeah, what? what are you talking about? Why do you think it feels so good? Why am I on the toilet? You are ruining pooping for everyone. No, 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 no. no, no, no. <laughs> oh, I'm ruining it. No, 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 no. I'm More gonna, people I'm gonna are going to want to poop. I'm going to back them up. There's a reason why big, massive shits yes. are like kind of like, yo. Yeah. I thought that was because you know what? like <laughs> emptying your system. Well, that is yeah, relieving for sure. But yeah. like. You know, not like I've it, never like it. took a shit thinking like oh, I'm about to come. Like I'm well, no, fucking, no, I'm not going. To, I don't I'm, know about I'm, like I'm busting about, right now. I'm not going to the bathroom to you know like getting a boner. Yeah, as you're I just know that it's gonna be an added benefit. Like not that part of it, but like I'm like, like oh, it's gonna it, feel though. good because I'm gonna feel lighter. But then also it's gonna feel. I like kind of get it. 
All right, I'm going to think more on that, I guess. Like, I, dude, what the fuck? I'm I'm obviously not optimally shitting right now because you guys are experiencing yeah, something no, next time. way greater yeah. than yeah. I Next time oh, yeah. shits, he's going to close his eyes right and just feel every groundhogs. single push. You know, shitting is like, like the process of shitting is like super bad for your body or like being on the toilet is yeah. really bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But so I also like, have a bidet, so. Yeah. Yeah, those are amazing. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, it's not just that, but like, I am, yeah. you know, if you, the longer you sit on the toilet, the more likely you are to like develop hemorrhoids and shit, mm -hmm. which are like. Is that a thing? Yeah, no, for sure. Because you're putting so much pressure on your I'm fucking really ring, the, your brown I'm ring. to risk it. I've never <laughs> had a hemorrhoid and I sit there for like 30 I, no, minutes. Okay, same. to be fair though, it is, I think obese, like overweight people are more prone to developing them because mm. of like just like health <clears throat> complication issues. Yeah. But also never strain yourself to take a shit either. A lot of people fucking oh. die that way. Oh, oh, die? I'm not kidding. From like, what? I think Elvis like, died. Well, yeah, if you're like, like a hernia or something? Like, yeah. I'm not really sure how it works, but like, I think it's like a lot of pressure on your heart. Oh, so like, I if see. you have like heart disease or like you're just generally not as healthy of a person, like if you like strain yourself to shit, you could you could die. Well, the problem is, is like you, imagine when you when you push and then you just immediately stop, like it's done. It's like when you're running super hard and you're just stopping. So then your really? heart's just like, yeah. Sometimes I've you get lightheaded. Yeah. You bat what the fuck? Dude, dude, he's like, you need more chronically... fiber in your diet. What yeah. are you battling, man? He's like chronically nah, man, I constipated. Want to yeah, dude, chicken breast and broccoli diet is not optimal for pooping. Like, I'm well, yeah, constipated a lot of the time. Is, does his broccoli have fiber? That's Probably. I mean, yeah, but they're like know. other, they're better stuff. But I'm, she knows too. I, I totally get it. Like, when I say, hey, babe, I'm going to the bathroom, there's like people over, she'll make a whole scene. She'll be like, ah, 30 minutes down the drain. Here we go. And I'm like, <laughs> I I just need some purse. Like I'm like on my phone. I'm like catching up with socials. Yes. Like you're not there to bug me. <laughs> <laughs> what the like fuck? I'm, I'm chilling, you know. It's and then me, it's me 15 time. minutes in, she'll knock and be like, "How long? How long?" Wait, like, you check on him when he's shitting? Dude, yeah, she doesn't leave me alone. Because he's like sometimes he would be on there for like 45, 40, same. 50 minutes. It's the same thing. It's just like Every I mean, I get, it's like kind of like sanctuary. It's I'm like, like, are you like okay? You're trying to hide away from like your partner. It's more just like. It's your alone time. It's a little bit of everything. It's a little bit of everything. Play a little music. Yeah. You know? Oh, like, I'll, I, so I I never play music because then she'll know. She'll be like, all right, you're, you're done. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you're done. Holy fuck, man. Wait. Like, no, I'm quiet as fuck. Do you guys, okay, do you guys close your bathroom door when you do your business? No. I lock it. I lock it. You lock, I lock it? it? Don't fucking lie. I'm we don't even have a lock on our bathroom door. Okay, not not the barn door one. Yeah, I just come in whenever. Wait, yeah, we have, have a pi we have, have private bathrooms. Door? Like I have one bathroom to myself the, where I go. Yeah, I, I just leave my door open. I leave it. Or no. is, that, is that psychotic it behavior? What I'm doing. Is that weird? Well, I have a dog, so I don't want the dog coming and trying to like, you know, lick your legs. Okay, while you lick my legs. Like, while I have shit, cats, yeah. and sometimes my cats will just like nestle in my pants, like while they're down. You know, is that? Oh, like is that they'll, oh, they'll, okay. they'll like lay in it. Oh, oh, they'll nest in. <laughs> no, no, oh, no, no. So like my pants are down on they're the like ground. They're like a nest. Oh, yeah, a like nest. so they're yeah. nesting in like Wait, my pants. Wait, are they like off, off, or What's like that? your your legs are still in the leg holes? Yeah, my legs are they still just in, the go leg in the leg middle, hole, and they're just in the <laughs> middle. Cute. Yeah, yeah you that's really cute. Yeah, because yeah, I think that's cute. You I'm like, take off dude, your I'm, whole I'm like putting everything out there, and I'm so scared because like I don't know what the norm is, but that's just how. No, I bet there's so many other people that do that. Okay. There's people that take yeah, out their pants. There's a lot pants. of people that do yeah. that. Because, like, otherwise, if I leave, if I close the door, I could hear my cats, like, scratching at the fucking door, mm -hmm. trying to see, like, yeah. what I'm up to and shit. Mm -hmm. What are with animals with, like, intimate moments? You know what I mean? Oh, my like, God. Like, pooping, they're watching Everything. you. When we're fucking, they somehow get right next to the bed or, yep. like, on the bed, and they're just, yeah. like... <laughs> yeah, they just want to know I'm looking, and I'm, I look over, and my cat's just, like... <laughs> And I'm like, can you get the fuck out of here, bro? Like, can you like get out of the room? <laughs> and I'll literally be like, hold on, babe. And I'll pick him up and I'll take him out of the room because I'm uncomfortable. And he'll just meow, meow. <laughs> but like, dude, okay, I do not like the way you're meowing. It's way too fucking. Oh, okay, <laughs> sorry. Yeah. Anyone catch that? That shit was like, dude, what? What the fuck are you directing right now? What is this? <laughs> but yeah, like, when it comes to intimate moments, my cat's always. I don't know if it's just our cat. But our cat's always there. Oh, they're just very curious about what's going on. Or like rub up against my leg, like my toes, and I'm like, oh, I don't like that, bro. Like, can you, can you like go over there? Uh, hmm. I feel like me and my cats have like a mutual respect kind of situation <laughs> because my cats don't really interrupt me anymore. But like, I will like my cat will be on the cat tower during the deed, and I like lock eyes with him, and I'll be like, 
Like, you know, you just give him the nod, and he just, like, kind of gives you... Well, he doesn't actually give me the nod, <laughs> but he, like, you he, like knows what's up, you know what I mean? So... Because, oh, like, he fuck it. Well, he, like, he fucks on my bed, too, honestly. Like, him and my That's, other cat. They mm -hmm. fuck each other? Oh, yeah. I yeah, yeah. So, like, that. dude, holy shit. My... I have two cats, Peepo and Winry, and uh, Peepo's the guy, Winry's the girl. Winry is not spayed, but Peepo is neutered. Um, but, like, yeah, Winry, when she's in heat, she's, like, fucking begging for that shit. Like, that is that is the period of time where my cat Peepo has never looked more tired. I have, like, photos of this dude. He looks like he'd aged, like, a thousand years in a week. Oh, like, what? And he, it doesn't, it doesn't reciprocate at all, even neutered. Yeah, even neutered, like, he does, he just, like... He, so he does. It? He does his thing, man. He oh. he, he like answers the Back. call of nature, and like Back. they are just their favorite spot to fuck is my bed for sure. And I think it's because they know, like they know that that is the spot where you're supposed to do that shit. Probably so, just comfy. Yeah, I guess. Meeting ground. So then yeah. when you're doing it, they're like. Yeah, they're like, they're like this, is the spot. Yeah. this right. is the spot. <laughs> they're so, like, let's go. I'm like, fuck! I have to wash my sheets again. God damn it! <laughs> like, but yeah, like I don't know, man, but. Uh, dude, I don't know, but like people, he like learned some shit. I think from me, I don't know. Like, hey, learn some moves. He's like biting the back of her neck and like what? nibbling on her ear and shit. And I'm just like, where the fuck did you learn how to do this shit? And like sometimes, like she's like kind of like cross. I don't know, man. They like I'll I'll just be midstream, and then my fucking community can hear Winry calling for him, oh, and then like I've never seen a cat. No way. Yeah. So I never like I never fucking interrupt because I'm just like just do your thing whatever because like I'm scared that if I interrupt like maybe he's gonna start interrupting too like it's like a mutual agreement that we don't fuck with each other when we're doing the deed so yeah <laughs> anyway that's how my cats fuck I'm sorry that you guys had so to maybe that. maybe that's why Portal always bothers you while you're shitting because I always bother him while he's shitting because I record him <laughs> sometimes why are you recording him because it's cute you know like when they're pooping they make like a they kind of like strain their face a little. I record their face. I'm not recording the so shit. Give them some privacy. It's just cute. So maybe that's why he bothers you. I mean, maybe that's like the, you'll there's really no know. Respect there. You really know when Poro like he Poro Poro yeah, yeah. Poro, Poro like pulls out the camera while you guys are doing it. That's oh when you know God. it's good behavior. <laughs> <clears throat> so quick question. I know we were talking about it earlier. Yeah. I mean, I love talking I'm, about no, animals. I'm so sorry. No, no, it's all good. It, no, it was reminding me of this one time that my dog is neutered mm -hmm. and um, but who get excited when there's a lot going on. So we had a Super Bowl party mm -hmm. and there's a ton of people there. Literally, he's been neutered for like three or four years. Never did any like humping or whatever. He's a French bulldog. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so they're not usually humpers. And I come out of the bathroom. They have weak hind legs. Oh, I was like the French. And literally, apparently he started humping my fiance <gasps> and like her like, leg finished Everywhere. Wait, they still. Well, he's new. He's new. <clears throat> yeah, but he still. He still finished. Has ejaculate. He went. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what? Actually, you know what? I'm not that surprised because when I had a dog, he was neutered. He had this pink teddy bear that he was always hump, and it would get like crusty. Crusty, yeah. It would be like dry and like. Yeah. But anyway, that's not what I wanted to ask. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the anecdote. Yeah, continue to your question. Yeah. Great I tangent. needed to add that. Um, we were talking about earlier, you said that you got banned. You're banned from Korea? Yeah, I'm banned in Korea, yeah. Just How like um, a lot of other Koreans that have made America their home, right? Are you okay with talking about that? I don't care. Okay. You might as well talk about it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm cool now. You're saying if the embassy <clears throat> calls you. Yeah, my no, they can't call me anymore. from the Korean embassy is like listening, is like, wait, the, what the fuck, dude? No, no, they, they can't call me anymore. <laughs> so, so I'm under a program named DACA, right? And what that means is when your parents bring you to America, when you're too young to, and this is back in the day, this is like pre-2000, pre-2000s, I think, pre-2002. Damn, that is back in the day. 2001 or 2002, 90s. right? <sighs> yeah, it's when it's when your parents bring you when you're too young to make your own decisions. Mm -hmm. And so technically, if you overstay your visa here, it's a crime, right? Mm -hmm. So instead of charging you with the crime, they'll consider you. I forgot what it, the acronym stands for, but it's FBI, DACA. Right? Yeah, it's like the Dreamer program. Oh, I, yeah. Uh, right. Yeah, but right. Korea does it where if you overstay your visa in another country and you pursue citizenship there, they ban you from coming back into the country. Yeah, what? because you're basically stating. Hey, I'm abandoning my sp uh, citizenship back home, and I'm gonna dodge the military, and I'm gonna stay here, right? But for me, 
when I turned 18, like they called me, like the embassy was like ring a ding ding and was like, hey, you need to come back and serve your country. And I was like, that's not my country. I've been here since I was three. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so they'll be like, okay, well, we're just notifying you that if you come to Korea, you're going to get arrested and you're going to have to serve for like two, three years. And I'm like, cool, peace. And I'm just like, I just hang out. Right. But they do that for everybody. Yeah. That does it's like pretty standard. Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. pretty sure. Don't don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure like when you come to America and you pursue citizenship and um you basically, you know, you get banned. Yeah. So I you are like an American citizen? Not yet. Working towards it. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I do have a green card, so we're good to go. You know what I'm I mean? I'm like scared that we're a housing journey. a fucking fugitive right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, it's I'm gonna been actually a journey. I'm gonna actually leave LA after this shoot and uh, go down <laughs> south for a bit. But oh, okay. <clears throat> but yeah, apparently that's the thing. And apparently if you, like, you can't go back to the country for a set amount of years until, like, you're, like, a citizen citizen. And then after that, there's still, like, a waiting period before you can step foot into the country, which is interesting. Okay. But yeah, nationalism's really, really hardcore there. So Yeah. I can, yeah, Korea. Yeah. That All makes right, sense. Before I rudely interrupted you, Michelle, or I rudely interrupted you earlier, Michelle, what were mm -hmm. you saying? What did I say? What was I saying? I talked over you as you were talking, and then you politely stopped talking, and then I talked over, and then I wanted to ask you what you're gonna say, and now you don't remember, and now I'm a dead fucking jackass. Yeah, what the fuck, Peter? Sorry, <laughs> clearly another issue. That's okay. Me too. Andy does it too. Andy <clears throat> what did you say? What? See, men always talk over women. What? The? <laughs> it's true. He, it, <laughs> apparently, I do it all the time. So I believe it. Uh, Korean men, am I what right? Uh, yeah, you're right. You're right. Oh, oh, by the way, the, the 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 Korean man Chinese woman duo is like goaded. Oh yeah. All those relationships work out. We've noticed that here. It's always the Chinese uh girlfriend slash wife and then the husband slash boyfriend is Korean. There's like what four couples that's like that? Yeah. I mean and at it's least always in like our power friend couples. group or something like yeah, that, right? It's work. Yeah. Like yeah. Nita and I are together, she's Chinese as well. But I really lucked the fuck out because she like she speaks Korean as well. Yeah, her too. Yeah. Yeah. So my mom loves her. Yeah. Abe and Wendy as well. Yeah, Wendy Korean. also speaks Korean. 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 Wendy yeah. is Bro. so smart. Wendy, Wendy is like so fluent. fluent in Korean. Like when we went to uh, the karaoke the other day, and I, she was like, "Oh, like, you know, like I, I like, I like sing a little bit." Like she's like super humble about super it. Super humble. And then she walks in there and just, <laughs> our jaws drop to the floor because she speaks perfect Korean. Yeah. And she sings like Korean ballads that are just really hard to sing, and she like sings it better than the singers it with perfect so good. Korean. Dude, I'm imagining in my head that she's like, I'm gonna tell these motherfuckers that my Korean is just okay. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking blow their minds. Let's go it's and carry crazy. It's insane. No, like him and Wendy, sometimes when they're texting, it's just all in Korean. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll text her in Korean. Yeah, and they're like shit about Text me back in perfect Korean. It's just, it's amazing. I'm Anita as well. Anita amazing. as well yeah. sings in Korean. Yeah. And it's just like crazy. I love Anita. Dude, I miss my, Anita. Yeah, my mom and Anita will like converse in Korean and I'm just like there, like question marks over my head. Like, <laughs> I wonder what they're talking about. That must be nice. <laughs> wow. I really need to fucking learn at least a little bit of Korean, man. Holy shit. But my mom beat it. It's honor. <clears throat> if you're cool. Korean and you don't know how to speak Korean, that's what my mom told me. She was like, you're a disgrace. And I was like, cool. I can like kind of speak Korean. Like, I'm like, I think I'm pretty fluent. No, but like she, she told me from the, from the beginning, she was like, if you can't speak Korean and you're Korean, you're a disgrace. And I was like, thanks, mom. <clears throat> Wait, can you speak uh, Mandarin or Cantonese or? Um, I speak Fujianese, Fujian, which okay. is more like Southern Chinese. Okay. Um, but I'm not fluent anymore. I, the only person I would talk to in that language was my mom. Mm, okay. Yeah. So. She always says it's a dead language, like Latin. It is a dead language. Oh. Yeah. Like it's like a very it's like small a very community. small population. Yeah. Like yeah. there's no writing. There's no like reading or anything. Oh, that's crazy. It's only a spoken language. Pretty cool. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So. It also hmm. sounds completely different from Mandarin. Really? Completely. Okay. Like I was going to ask that. Like, is there, like, if you were to try and learn, like, Mandarin or Cantonese, would it carry over at all? It's no. Like it doesn't. It's like a not different language completely. At all. Yeah. Wait, can you give me, like, how would you say uh, hello? Nuho. Oh, that is pretty different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Okay. It means the same thing, though. Yeah. For Mandarin, ni hao is like, the literal translation is, like, you good, or like, how are you, basically? Uh huh. And then in my, my language, it's the same thing. Oh, like, I kind of love that. It's you good. Yeah. Like, like you good? You good? You good? <laughs> <laughs> what's up? That's kind of dope. Yeah. That's I didn't know awesome. that. That's really cool. <laughs> Korean's so boring. Annyeong literally just means, hey, hello. But Nihao's just, doesn't, you good? Doesn't you good? Annyeong Haseyo mean like the act of saying hello or something? Like Haseyo is like an action type I, of I saying, right? We're not fucking linguists over here, yeah. man. I don't know okay. shit. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Wait, I have a question then. So, 
when you guys have kids, would you want them to like learn like your native language? I would definitely want them to learn Korean a lot more because I'm I'm not like good. I maybe like some words here and there for my Chinese, but yeah, my mom can like understand a good amount of English, and my dad speaks English, so. Yeah. But I do feel bad. I think Korean like not having cool. the Chinese. Korean would be cool. Yeah, yeah, I think my, I think our parents, <clears throat> like on both sides, would want them to learn the native language, and they'll learn like a tiny bit because mm -hmm. they're with the grandparents. But mm -hmm. We won't like force them. We'll just probably talk to them here and there in Korean. Yeah, it's like scattered. Yeah. Can't I wait to have that. kids, by the way. Really? I'm ready. You're I'm like, ready? I'm, I'm ready. But Your seed ready. is ready to go? I'm, I'm good. I'm ready to, you know. I mean, it's, it's not really up to you. I'm, I, I, <laughs> it, yeah, you're right. You know what's so funny? He always tells people that he wants three kids. And there's always two responses. The girls are always like, oh, but how do you feel about that, Michelle? But mm -hmm. then the guys are like, yeah, how about five? That's a football team, blah, blah, blah. It's always the guys that want like... A whole like a starting team. five for an NBA team. Bro, I'm just like <clears throat> in this fucking economy, man. I don't uh, how the fuck like right. I don't want to have to battle royale my kids for like who gets mm -mm. The, like their tuition paid. You know what I mean? No, yeah. No, it's a full ride or nothing, you know. For us, we're just like, yo, oh. community college is great too. That's what know? I'm saying. Community hey, college all the way. Listen, well, honestly, I know I community college, college friends that are better paid than a lot of my four year degree friends. Mm -hmm. You know? No, that makes sense. No, they're. I feel like college doesn't matter anymore. And they don't have debt Degrees don't because they anymore. went to community college, right? Like, it really it's depends on what you're doing. Way. Yeah. Right. Especially like if you're in this industry, like, doesn't matter. It's more about work experience. Yeah, it's about work know. experience. Yeah. What you do extracurricular. Like, yeah. I literally, when I'm hiring people, if they put their GPA at the top, I'm like, mm -hmm. goodbye. I don't. I don't. Give what if a I fuck. like? What if I big ball and be like, I got a two point what do you think about that, huh? <laughs> then I'll actually think about it. <laughs> I'll be like, oh, you got, what the fuck is up with this kid? <laughs> you got a sense of humor. Nah, because then I'll look at it. But if I see on the top, it's like a 4.2 GPA. I'm like, <laughs> I went to Harvard. Brother, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah. Watch, after this, like, influx of, like, resumes with really fucking low GPAs for whatever fucking <laughs> Yo, reason. Just don't put it on <laughs> what there. Is I just want to see what man? you did outside of that. Yeah. That's true. Like, I'm, I mean, it's like... <clears throat> talking about your SAT score now, you know what I mean? Like, who oh, yeah. Who fucking cares? Mm -hmm. But I got a really good SAT score, but I dropped out of college and I had a terrible GPA in high school. Did you guys have to take ACT? Uh -huh. mm, it's it was like optional. the SAT It's like the alternative, yeah. Yeah, yeah I was sick the day of it and I sneezed on uh, the test and it, I got like, like the lowest grade possible. Wait, Wait what? So your what snot you like invalidated It your was score? bloody, yeah. <laughs> it was bloody? <laughs> yeah. They didn't like They wouldn't give you like a new exam to like fill out? I was like halfway done with it, man. There ain't oh, no way. And they have a time limit. <gasps> no, they don't give so you like, because like, didn't you have to do like the bubbles? Yes, the bubbles. And they put it in a machine. How is it? No. Machine the machine's like, the they yeah. didn't okay, give I don't know. He out. answered this question <laughs> twice somehow. Because I had it. The problem was, is, uh, uh, I kept sniffling. And uh, obviously it's like super quiet. And so like, I'm trying to stop sniffling. So I'm holding it in for like 20 minutes. <laughs> and then eventually there's like an itch. And it's just, <clears throat> it looked like somebody just blew my brains out oh my god yeah damn <laughs> yeah. i mean i still think it's fucked up that we expect kids to know what the fuck they want to do at 18. no no that's cool no, they yeah. need to be they need to be we need to be taught like taxes we need to be yeah. taught like credit mm -hmm. like yeah who cares about the quadratic formula facts yeah i'll use a calculator yeah. like it, it doesn't matter like those are the things that I need to learn it's fucked up man mm -hmm. i i don't know like Credit, credit, and taxes are like yep. two of the things 100%. I really wish like someone instilled in me yeah. before. Like good spending habits, budgeting. I still don't really fucking have any or, of those habits instilled. Or even credit card. Like yeah. I want it, like mm -hmm. when my kid uh, gets older at a certain point. I don't know when's the earliest you can do it. Have a credit card at least just there. Like she yeah. won't use it, but <clears throat> the age of your credit is like matters right. a whole lot. Like yeah. my parents got me one when I was 16. I didn't use it at all. But if you look at my life of credit, it's like there's many years and that helps it. So yeah. I mean, I just, this is kind of embarrassing to admit. I just recently raised the credit limit on one of my cards mm -hmm. and it was like $5,000, mm -hmm. which yeah. is like pretty fucking low for like someone my age. So uh, yeah, I was like, oh fuck. I'm feeling more like an adult these days. That's mm -hmm. kind of crazy. And then you look at your credit score and it like goes down. Yeah. It doesn't make sense to me. It's like, oh yeah, I've I've cleared off my credit card. I'm like, yeah, I paid it all off. Yeah, well your uh, your your credit score went down. It's like, I don't yeah. understand how. What? Like, I, I pay off my credit like, card debt like yeah. every every month on time, never fucking late. And I'm like, but like, come on, man. 
we're just gonna dip that shit down because fuck you. Like, well, all right, yeah. no, that's that's yeah. dope, dude. It's a trap. Isn't it also a thing for it to dip and you like do like a big purchase or something? Oh yeah, like hard. Yeah, or as long, you just want to pay it back like immediately, yeah. but you also don't want to pay it all off. Is like the best way, like I've heard. Yeah, it's yeah, weird. You're like, like apparently trick. paying it back in installments is like it seemed like oh you were like able to do these things on a time. Yeah, like, but bitch, I was able to pay it off all all at once. Isn't that like the best show that like I'm I'm in charge of my shit that I'm good? Like I, this th doesn't make any fucking sense. And we'll put your credit score up when you open a new <laughs> line of credit. But just kidding, we're gonna put it back down when you start using it. I'm like, oh my fuck. God, there's gonna be like high schoolers listening to this podcast are like they're just depressed like i don't know what the fuck these guys are talking about Good, I'm so no, we're literally no. gonna say this is the definition of a boomer conversation yeah. right now yeah. no investments too <laughs> the kids that learn that early become so successful at like 21 yeah. yep and then there's people like me that get, get like to like 25 i'm like what the hell is that yeah, like i have never like heard that before and stuff. right and i'm like in my head i'm like okay if I could reform schools, I think at like ninth grade, I would let kids choose what they want to be passionate about in school and let them just do three more years of just that, mm. you know? Mm -hmm. Like if you're interested in science and bio and in, in chem and stuff, for three years after ninth grade, just do three years of that. Mm. So you're ready yep. for college. Yep. Or if you don't want to do college, then you can do like other stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah. No, but that's what I was saying. I feel like college degree doesn't matter anymore because if you're, like a lot of people these days that are doing passive income, isn't like necessarily a degree job. Yeah, it's, it's like, like Airbnb. stocks. Like you don't need it. Or like yeah, yeah house. You have multiple um, properties that you're renting out, and all. like that stuff doesn't require a degree. That's like research stuff that you can. I mean, Airbnb is kind of cancer at the end of the day. Like it's kind of weird just because like you know it's, it's bringing up housing, money. housing yeah. and stuff like that. But oh god, it just reminds me of like. Oh, like the fucking trend of like, yeah, be your own millionaire. Are you not making a oh hundred k a month? Are you stupid? Like, <laughs> have you never heard of drop shipping? Like, I'm just like, bro, what the heck is that? Drop Alibaba. Drop shipping is like basically when you buy like shit on like a massive scale from like a country that like produces it really cheaply, like China, yeah. and then you just you like create an online store and sell it in the states for like oh. uh, markup. But like, I feel like. It's very hard to do well. Like you kind of need like the infrastructure to do it well, and yeah. the people that are making money doing it at a young age are probably coming from families that like mm -hmm. are able to support them through mm -hmm. this venture. Like you're, it's very unlikely that you'll just be like massively successful if you have like very little like like capital to start yeah. with. You know what I mean? Okay. So money it's like, and, dude, and if it doesn't get seized, yeah, exactly. <laughs> what the fuck? It can get seized. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I love yeah, the stories. Like, yeah. yeah. No, go ahead. No, go ahead. Fuck, I'm just no, talking over everyone today. Dang, He's so shit. glad to see kind you. Of no, you came back. <laughs> you, you start. But yeah, no, no, no. So like people will like buy stuff from China and then if they do the wrong insurance. So like depending on like I'm getting a 10 kg like uh, shipment in. And if you get the wrong type of insurance for like the amount, they can seize it. And then they send you a bill for like a shitload of money. Uh -oh. And they're like, well, if you want this. And sometimes they're like, you have to pay this. My friend did the whole Walmart thing where he goes into Walmart during the summertime, right before summer starts, mm -hmm. and he'll buy all the inflatable pools. Oh. Like, in, in the nearest five Walmarts, he'll buy all the inflatable pools. That's smart. I swear, right? And then he'll raise the price by like $20 because that's what, they're going to buy it. It's technically it's, the not The kids illegal. will buy it, yeah. right? Like, the yeah. parents for like these kiddie pools that are like, like what, like 70 bucks, he'll put them like 150 yeah. and they'll sell out and he'll make money off of it. like and he'll store it in his apartment or his like single house in his like mom's house and his backyard are just boxes of inflatable pools Bruh. and he'll and i hate he'll how that's it a on, thing like, his website and they'll sell out within a week yeah I'm gonna once tell it you right gets now. warm can't have nice things anymore don't say who your friend is i fucking hate that guy yeah <laughs> yeah I f it's on principle oh, i man. fucking hate that it's guy it's insane now. i hate scalpers and resellers they are yeah ruining everything that Especially is good about shoes, just like purchasing man. shit cheating man. the system my favorite thing to see is when there's like a reseller like and they have like 50 like boxes of nikes and they're like man these things are bricks man nobody's buying these and it's like yeah you waste all your own money yeah no someone's buying I love them. watching those it's you oh <laughs> i love watching those that's my porn he's like oh they're just like they buy like a hundred hundred dollars or like hundred like units mm -hmm. and then they start creating more and it's not like you know limited time or like yeah. limited edition anymore and they're like fuck and i'm like yeah you're down bro that's what you <laughs> get. sucks to suck yeah i mm -hmm. saw an article about this guy who was trying to return like a hundred PS5s because like fucking yeah. stock of PS5 became more readily available and then Walmart was like 
no. Fuck. <laughs> like, yeah. So he's just like sitting on like a hundred fucking PS5s that he can't sell oh, for anything. No. Like, he probably can't sell it at face value because like he bought it yeah. from the store. Yeah. Like, why would you yeah. buy it at like normal retail price? Right. So, yeah, fuck that guy. The I GPUs too those. were a big thing, remember? Like, uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. because of the crypto uh, craze. Crypto. Yeah, crypto mining. Yeah. That was wild. Dude, that shit was crazy. Wait, what's crypto mining? You, you buy a bunch of GPUs and then you mine crypto with that. Like you I don't really understand of... how it works, but like what? they were essentially, quote unquote, making money mm -hmm. using graphics cards because it's they were reset. mining for crypto. It. They it were uses, mining crypto. Yeah, a lot of power. So you see a lot of people like in Montana or something, and they would just have in their basement just like rows and rows of GPUs, doo -doo -doo -doo, mining, 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 mining. So it rose the price up like crazy. Mm -hmm. Now I think it's kind of gotten back to normal yeah yeah i think like with like uh crypto just kind of crashing in general mm -hmm. i think pe people are just like not as interested in just like mining that shit themselves yeah. so yeah gpus are way more affordable than they used to be at least that shit yeah. was crazy like i remember old cards were selling for a lot because people were just like buying whatever the yeah. fuck Good to mine. like 16 mm -hmm. 60s were like because they weren't available 500 yeah they just weren't readily available yeah mm -hmm. that was remember? that shit sucked man i'm i'm sorry just like the whole fucking era of nfts crypt crypto and all that shit was like hey man like I, if you're into that shit good on you i just don't ever want to talk about that yeah. shit ever like that is like the least interesting conversation topic mm -hmm. for me and i'm just like Fuck. oh same I, I like just, that too. I don't like I don't like talking about it, man. <laughs> Fuck, I check out so fast. Dude, when they start so about fast. That, I just leave the room. I'm like, I'm gonna find someone else to talk to. <laughs> dude, there was a period of time where I was like avoiding industry parties because I was like, dude, if I get a vo if I get approached by one more goddamn crypto bro, like I'm gonna yeah. fucking I'm gonna lose it. You're like, so. if I hear Dogecoin one more time, because remember there was a time where uh, yeah, the crazy it, like, went up the craze of Dogecoin and like the meme coins. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. shit was crazy. I didn't even understand that. I was like, what? What is that? No, and he's like, bro, I made hundred thousand dollars. Like. I, j I just don't get it. I yeah. just you know. That's if it's why your like, thing, then all that shit was just like made up to me because like Elon would talk about a would talk about Dogecoin and then Dogecoin's price would like <clears throat> inflate. Well, you so remember people were like, "Oh, it's gonna go huge because he was gonna be on SNL." Yeah, and then he went on SNL and it crashed. Like, oh, is really? that what happened? Crash? Yeah, so it was like super high because he was at the time where whenever he would say it, it would go up, and so people were like, "Oh, if he goes on SNL, like." I'm buying it's a gonna ton. skyrocket, and it did the exact opposite, and that's when it dropped like crazy, mm. and that's when it kind of like faded. Damn. Why it All crashed. because he went on this, and See, but I don't understand it. Like, what, what does that? How does that constitute the the price drop? That's what I don't know. See, it's too volatile. Don't get it. it's, it's like too volatile. we like when you tweet. We don't like when you talk. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, what the fuck? That's why like. Crypto prices to me was just like everything's made up. That shit's yeah. just all like imaginary fucking numbers, yeah. except that it somehow translates into real money somehow. That's <laughs> I, I fuck whatever, man. I'm just I'm just stuffing the underside of my mattress with cash still. So yeah. I'm in that era. Of my, I'm just kidding. Uh, IRS, I'm definitely not doing that. Please <laughs> check underneath it's my a very bed. small mattress. Yeah, tiny actually. <laughs> fucking princess in the pea situation. I gotta feel the shape of it, <laughs> but. Yeah, holy fuck. I'm just glad that that era is over. Yeah. So, how are you enjoying TikToking? TikToking. It's been it's been uh it's been not as steady as it used to be. Yeah. Um especially now that people are moving to get it banned. Mm. Um but uh we're we're staying resilient as much as we can. I think we've solidified our place pretty well. Yeah. Um in the community and um I think in terms of Asian couples, I think we're number 1 now. I think so. Yeah, in I terms can't of think of any other Asian couple, if I'm being honest, and I'm on TikTok quite a bit. Yeah, and that's what we push for since, like, uh, after we kind of made a spot for ourselves, we were always reaching for that spot. So after we hit that, it's been like I want to I want to say like smooth sailing, but um, a lot of changes, like algorithm changes and stuff like that. Like we've told you already, right? Yeah, we talked about it before. Yeah, about like. You know, like the views or and stuff is all weird now. Cause you know how TikTok back then, it was really fun. Like you just posted whatever everyone's doing is like dancing or whatever, and it was fun. But now it's like so, like scripted and like curated where it's like, you know what I mean? It's like the SEO thing, the new SEO thing that rolled around, where it's like, oh, keywords. If you don't say keywords in your video, then it will go to a completely different audience, and yeah. so for it's like us, categorized now. That sucks. Yeah, yeah. So for us, for like couple comedy, right? Like. I don't know, like, I'll do a prank on her, but then I'll say something weird in the video where it's like, I don't know, like, about flowers, and it'll go to an audience that only likes flowers. 
yeah and not couple comedy audiences you know what i mean and That's then so our weird. video will tank because it's not going to like your the people audience. that watch us yeah it's going to people that watch like bouquets being made in flowers and i'm like Bro, what the hell is going on? No, because it's at weird. the top they'll say, "Oh, the the people that are watching this like flowers and like bouquet making." And I'm like, yeah. "It's not even about that, like at all. Like it's about you know, it's it's just a prank video, but no one will watch it because it's going to the wrong audience. And it's just, in a way, it's helping. So, I think how TikTok's being made now is they're kind of trying to neutralize like the influencers, right? Like they're not pushing them anymore because those people are the ones that are trying to get paid. It's more bringing up like the smaller creators and bringing up like people that are making like people without those numbers, like people that are like under 20,000 or like 10,000 followers and they're trying to bring those creators up, which is great. I think that's a fantastic idea to bring more. Andy doesn't mean this. He fucking hates small creators. Stop yeah, I fucking up his hate views. small creators actually, but you know, <clears throat> but I think that's a good idea in, in some aspects, but for us as a business, it sucks. Yeah. Right. It's more punishing on you guys because oh, you're an established platform. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy. <clears throat> We're fighting for views, but you know, as as of right now, like she keeps my head on correctly. Like I think I always tell people, like for Andy and Michelle, Michelle's like seventy five percent of us. And I'm like the back end twenty five percent that just does the obnoxious funny shit. But she does everything else, including keeping my mental straight. So that's good. Um, even with the TikTok changes, like, you know, we're we're being resilient as much as we yeah. can. Yeah, I mean, it is a little scary. It feels like with each algorithm change, it could, like, make or break creators. And oh, it's kind yeah. of like, how much can you actually control that? You can't really. Yeah. Yeah. You try your it's best. It's literally a toxic relationship. If something changed, you have to, like, figure out what it is by, like, trial and error through a bunch of videos. And then if you just go in the wrong direction, your account can easily, like, just completely get, what's Wait. it called, shadow banned? Yeah. Oh yeah. shit. Yeah, that's a thing. Like your your profile can literally just die, if you in like three videos. Yeah. If you're if we can put like three like we can troll post three videos and it'll ruin our page. Wow. Like that's how that's how punishing it is. Yeah. Have you been that. shadow banned before? Before, yeah. We have. We've been unrightfully banned because yeah, there were. We've been banned before. Like there was a certain video that, a couple people at TikTok didn't like, but they didn't watch the whole video. Yeah. And so they were like, "Hey, you're talking about feet in this video." You're promoting feetfinder.com. That's a like a like a like a adult site. We're gonna ban you. Oh, so yeah. any like potentially sexually related content will instantly get you shadow banned. Well, that's what we thought at first, right? Uh -huh. But then there were creators that were our friends that were doing actual ads for Feet Finder. Yeah, like and they sponsors. Getting banned. The, what, wait, what? And yeah. so we, we reached out to them and we were like, hey, these guys are literally doing a sponsored post with them, and we didn't even mention feetfinder.com. I just said, oh, they I'm going to sell assumed. her feet pics online, and now we're getting banned. And they were like, oh, sorry, we're not going to look into that. And I was like, what the fuck, bro? Like, at least give us a fair trial. Like, at least let us talk to somebody. Yeah, it seems like hella arbitrary, and so, but then it'll, like, completely lock down your account. Mm -hmm. And so we had to go through a line of people, like, call another person calls, another person calls, and then we got to somebody that was like, hey, like, we'll look over it. And then within, like, an hour or two, it was unbanned. And I was like... Really, like you, you could have just like let me talk to this guy in the first place yeah, and like, not waste either of our time. Just yeah. give us some sort of like at least let us like defend ourselves, right? Yeah. Or like at least watch the whole video. But the flag is still on our account. They never took it down. What? Yeah. Yeah. Like it's unbanned now, but it's still on our record. That's fucked. Yeah, and so they were like one more, one more flag, and you're done. And I'm like, Bruh. okay, but we never did anything wrong necessarily. Yeah. Th those guys have said they have their sponsored post still up. So I just don't get it, but you know, yeah. it is what it is. You can't win them all. It's like really depends on who's looking at your account. Mm -hmm. It's just like not, I mean, I feel like Twitch has the same issue for sure. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of mm -hmm. like some people get banned for the same shit. Some people, they they'll like mm -hmm. have a blind eye to it. It's mm -hmm. definitely connections too. Oh, I mean, yeah. Yeah. At the exactly. end of the day. If you know Mr. Mr. TikTok over in TikTok land, yep. they'll be like, yo, I got you. And you'll like, Mr. Show, <laughs> Mr. Shoe or Mr. Show. Good looking dude, by the way. Yeah, he yeah. killed Very it. Good looking dude. He killed it on co in, in uh, his congressional hearing. Yeah, yeah, dude, you're so good at what you do. Yeah, you're and so hot. hot and smart. Please take our flag off our page. Please, you're so hot, Mister. I'm Shu. also Chinese. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> speak Mandarin right now. Um, Chershu, what's up, Daddy? Yo, yo, Ni Hao. I All have right. somewhere the back. Maybe redact looks. some of that. Wait, I don't know how well that flies. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, but, <laughs> dude, that sounds rough though. But like, what are um. I know that you guys are like you're pushing your YouTube as well because like you know as a TikToker, I think a lot of people want to branch out to other yeah. platforms. You guys are doing on Twitch. Mm -hmm. Are you doing like content like that specific to YouTube or like? Um. So right, we're kind of still trying to 
like organize everything because right now um in terms of youtube long form um we've been posting like our cooking streams that we started to do on our twitch account as like a little like vod highlight type of thing um but with funny. our twitch account we're supposed we're trying to do irl content and that could be repurposed as like vlogs mm -hmm. yeah so that's what we're trying to do now but in terms of shorts it's all like repurposed through like tiktok and instagram reels and all that stuff but we have noticed because tiktok's been so weird the stuff that works on TikTok doesn't necessarily work on YouTube and Instagram. So we have to kind of start, um, instead of recording one video and posting it on everything, we have to kind of like brainstorm more on like what works on YouTube. And that's even more like content that needs to be created and more time. Bro, I have so much respect for like YouTubers that yeah. make like 30 minute videos. Like we are so used to making one minute videos and that takes us like a fat second. But... These people that do 30 minute videos of content and imagine how much they have to trim down to get it to 30 minutes. Yeah. It's just like, I don't know how they do it. Yeah, like there's this one YouTuber I watch um, and she posts every two days in Stephanie each Sue. video. Yeah, Stephanie Sue. The in goat. Each, she has two accounts. She posts one is like every week, her mukbangs. And then her vlog one is like she posts every two days and it's like it's 30 exhausting. minutes. It's exhausting. And, and she posts on TikTok, Instagram. It's crazy. And the only reason we started Twitch actually is because... Um, multiple friends have come up to us and we we're like you guys are literally walking marriage memes like that's all you guys you guys bicker about the same stuff you talked about on your tiktoks and stuff and that's what i think makes content creating for us so easy is because that's our life like it comes naturally like it's it's so stupid and funny to think about because we talk about such ridiculous stuff on our page mm -hmm. but it's because we actually talk about those stupid things and we actually argue about those stupid things are you on twitch when we stream well twitch too but tiktok as a whole like when oh, we TikTok, started yeah. it was so natural for us because we just talk about or argue about stuff we actually have talked about in the past yeah you know what i mean yeah like the brainstorming sessions are not really brainstorming sessions that's just you living your life yeah together really yeah. yeah and so it just comes very quick and natural and like a lot of people like the biggest question we always get asked is like oh are your videos scripted are your videos scripted and like i want to say like 85 percent are not scripted okay yeah and like 15 percent, the ones that you can very much tell, oh, that's got to be scripted. Yeah, like the camera's literally in your face, but you act like you don't I see it. I mean, that's it. scripted, yeah, for sure. But 85% of the time, like when she, those pranks, those are not scripted. But and I feel like even like genuine. the scripted scenarios are rooted in like an actual situation that's no, happened, for sure. right? Yeah. So it's like, yeah. at the end of the day, it's like, it's like, it's coming from like a genuine place, <laughs> you know? Yeah. So dumb. But yeah, like sometimes I'll read the comments like, this is so scripted. It's like, duh, like it's obviously fucking scripted. Like they're not trying <laughs> to hide that. They're just trying to show you like an entertaining scenario. Yeah. yeah. It's like, okay, th dude, how does he not see the camera? It's like, he does see the camera because it's scripted, you dumbass. Yeah, that's that's a good 25% of our comments. It's like, oh my God, it's so scripted. It's so cringe. I'm like, bro, have you, have you seen our channel? We are cringe as fuck. Yeah. Like yeah. that is literally the basis of how we created this channel. Yeah. We are fucking cringe, okay? Yeah. The but Instagram community like goes for your throat for some reason. The There's always something them. wrong. Really? Like, they hate us. Yeah. They tear us. They tear our ass up. The YouTube community is very, very welcoming. They, wait, yeah. Sorry, they do what? Oh. They tear us up. Okay, I was gonna say like that is like not the expression I think you're trying to use. No, <laughs> it's, it's, wait, it tearing someone's up. ass up. I thought that was like a sexual thing. No, I mean it I is. Mean, I mean, it yeah, could be both. Listen, I mean, come on. Listen. Come on. Logan's giving me a look. Come on, man. When you're on the toilet. <laughs> oh, is that what that means? No, it doesn't. No, it's a good I mean, thing. <laughs> ah, we're back to the prostate talk. <laughs> I like that all goes full so circle. What I mean is Instagram people are great because oh. they tear our ass up. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I feel you. Yeah. <laughs> I, no, I, 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 but, but, I do not. But, but YouTube, the, the community on YouTube is very forgiving. Like, they, they love us. TikTok is a hit or miss, but Instagram, they just... They fucking hate you guys. Wow, it's so cringe. It's so, like, you know, it's so staged. And I'm like... Yeah, bro. I mean, it is, okay? Like, it... No, we almost got canceled about eggs, remember? Oh, yeah. We almost got canceled about eggs. It's because we did a... We did an intrusive thoughts video or impulsive thoughts video where she would... Have you ever wanted to, like, smash an egg or, like, break a glass? Like, when you're you holding wanna, it? Like, you just want to, like, you chuck you it, just right? just chuck an egg, you know? Yeah. Anybody? No? Just us? No, no, no. I know that feeling. It's like that one so second fragile. in your head Acting when on you're like, like what if I let me do the craziest. What if I did the craziest thing? Yeah. yeah so it's like so fragile, you just want to break it, right? So we yeah. did a video about that where Michelle just takes an egg. She looks at me and just like throws them at the refrigerator, like chucks like four or five eggs. But we got timinged because during that time, there was an egg shortage. Yeah. And so uh, everybody in our comments was trying to like, economy. they wanted to like cancel us. They were like, you just wasted like $7. And I was oh, like, yeah. 
I had no idea. We buy we buy these at Costco. They're like three dollars. You know what I mean for a for a twenty four pack. And so we were just chucking them, and then it started going viral for the wrong reason. And people were like DMing us, just like you know, their kids dying, and they could have eaten those eggs. And I'm like, I'm so sorry. I didn't know we had a shortage of eggs going on. You know what I mean? No, it's, it's, that, that's what okay. that's with any food content. Though. Yeah. If you don't Is finish it? all the food, doesn't matter. They'll say, oh my god, you're wasting. Even if you're dropping water, if you spill water, they're like you guys know we're like. You guys are wasting water. We're in a drought right we're now. We're in a drought. <laughs> where? Like, where, where, exa where exactly are you? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, and I felt so bad. And she was like, I was in filling the blank country. And she was like, we don't have eggs here. And I'm like, I, I mean, I'm sorry. I don't know what no, to tell you. Just like, reply to be like, just give me your address. I'll ship you some eggs. Like, we got you. Okay. I didn't know what to we'll do. We'll hook it up. That sounds like a threat. <laughs> <laughs> it was like ninety percent of comments. I'll like, show you eggs. You know, you know how expensive eggs are right now. And I was like, I'm. And then, the, and then, and then, like our act, like our really diehard fans, they were like, arguing. They're like. Yeah, but they bought those eggs, so technically they can do whatever the fuck they want with those yeah. eggs. And I was like, be like, "Are you gonna eat the eggs?" I was like, "I don't know what to do. Do we just not?" And I, we decided not to comment no, on anything and just move on. And then the next video, they're like, "We didn't forget about those eggs." <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> "I'm like, we just can't win. Like, wait, what do we do?" Like, <laughs> dude, I yeah. Oh my god, there's like one TikToker I follow. He's like this Japanese guy who like cooks outdoors. Oh, and eats things while it's really hot in the grill. Yeah, yes. that guy. I love that guy. So I guess he like may have farted once while making a TikTok or something. I never saw the actual TikTok, but like the comments, there's always one guy that's like, never forget, never forget. And they'll do like like some kind of emoji combination that kind of like, ref mm -hmm. like refers to like a fart or some shit. Mm -hmm. Every fucking TikTok for I swear to God, like a year. There was really? at least a few commenters saying like never forget, never forget, never. Forget. But like now it's come full circle where it's like robots, bots will say never forget. But what like, but in a way, it's like still like bringing it up. You know what I mean? So I'm yeah. just like, holy shit! Like the internet is like so petty. It's yeah. so fucking petty. So yeah, we get porn bots in our in our comments all the time now. They're like the first ones too. Oh yeah. In every video right? that comes up, within five seconds. There's a porn bot and it goes, oh my God, check out my profile. And oh like, yeah. Those get likes. And I'm like, cool. I'm not going to delete them. Like they, they bring people to our channel. That's cool. But like, we're like, we have like 10 of them in the first two minutes. They're like, come look at my channel. Oh, oh my gosh. really? Oh my gosh. You won't see, you won't believe what I did on my channel. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. I never noticed it. It's like the same thing on Twitter. If you like mention certain keywords, you'll have like bots just filling their replies. I remember that some guy tweeted out like, hey man, if you have like a hate replier or something, just mention these keywords in reply to them, and then they'll be spammed with like these bots. Oh, really? And then, like some guy, like some guy was like, "Oh, my favorite one is like asking for uh, like TV links in Singaporean or some shit like that, like Malaysian." And then he did it, and like thirty bots were mm -hmm. summoned within <laughs> seconds, just like spamming that dude's replies. I was like, "Holy shit, you have this shit figured out." Jeez. So I don't even know how that works. I mean, yeah, it's just like automation. But they're right? so quick. Yeah. They're so quick. It's insane. Yeah, uh -huh. I, I don't know, dude. It's just the things that people can do with like just automation and like AI these days is like really fucking scary. So oh, yeah, I came on a stuff. TikTok this morning of like an AI generated movie, and it's a fully scripted entire movie with like celebrity voices and everything voicing over stuff. Like jo the presidents. Yeah, like Joe Biden's voice announcing aliens are coming into the United States and stuff. And I'm like, how the hell are these guys doing that? Yeah. Or like that one. Um, like there's like a bunch of AI songs now. Like Drake does the Oh My Oh My Gosh song. Oh yeah. That or was like, great. That was yeah. kind of a banger, I'm not gonna lie. But then now there's lawsuits about like there's um mm -hmm. a ghostwriter that is AI that wrote a rap song for Drake and then they made the AI Drake rap the rap song and it's fire. Like it's so yeah. Good. Is it right? actually good? It's, so, it's actually it's really a good. Banger. Like I I don't know if it's because it's Drake's voice, but it's really good. And then people started Spotify and linking that song. Yep. And then apparently now there's a huge lawsuit because Ovio's like right. heard of it. But I know damn well they think it's fire too. It's so good. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I've looked into some like AI music, and most of it is like fucking garbage. So oh, like, really? I'm, sorry, I'm impressed that there's like. One well, it that's depends because like there's different ones. Like there was one I was messing around with called Voice.ai, and you just talk into it, and then in real time, you can like pick which voices you want to do, mm. and it does it pretty well. And it's like, like it people... doesn't sound like robotic. Yeah, it no. just sounds like someone's talking. No, that's what I'm saying. It's so dangerous nowadays because they can do this too. Oh yeah, they deep can fake. animate this yeah, dude to fake, anything, yeah. and they can make yeah. you do anything. And I'm just like, bro, that's too dangerous, man. Like, 
Imagine in this industry, like, they can do so much crap with that. Yeah. It's I, so dangerous. I think, like, the corporations are going to start throwing out some lawsuits pretty soon. Because I know, like, there's someone did, like, a AI Ariana Grande song or something oh, like that. Really? Oh, then mm -hmm. They had her, oh, like, Cupid. saying, like, slurs. Like, oh. Like, yeah. Oh, and stuff. Yeah. So I'm like, oh. there's no way that these celebrities are going to be okay with that. Or, like, no. the yeah. companies representing them are going to be okay with that shit. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Because, like, I think... Lawsuits only really ever happen when it affects the bottom line. You oh, know what yeah. I mean? So, uh, AI we'll scary, see. man. AI is scary, bro. It is scary. Like, I was kind of messing around a little bit with uh, like an art AI. I've been talking about in the past how I fucking hate AI because like it's like straight up theft. But then, I w I have been kind of like fooling around in private, not showing any of this shit. Like, uh, like it's like oh, you know, like Avatar: The Last Airbender in like. The style of like Marvel, you know what I mean? Wow. Stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Like I, I think that it is a very interesting tool, but at the end of the day, it will never like fully replace like actually hiring a real artist to do your work. Because no. I still think that AI just has that kind of look that you just mm -hmm. kind of know that it was created by AI. Also, mm -hmm. they don't, they have no idea how to fucking make hands or fingers. Still, that shit oh, is yeah. like terrifying. Oh, Everyone really? will have like yeah, like hands that are like Tentacle fused hands. together or like yeah. coming out of their oh, fucking looking weird. Looking like walruses. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I think with, in, uh, I feel like I've touched on this so many times already, but like, you know, there's just going to be so much content theft around like AI that like actually publishing anything made by AI is going to be like stolen works from like some other person yeah. that made it, you know yeah. what I mean? So, but it is like kind of like a cool tool to just like play around with in private, I will mm -hmm. say, you know, would you ever got, would you guys ever do like a script from AI and like just see how it goes? A That's script? actually a great idea. <laughs> yeah, having an AI generate us. Having an AI generate a couple script? comedy script. ChatGPT, make me a couples comedy script that would be good for Andy and Michelle from TikTok. That'd be insane. I didn't know that. That's a thing. No Dude, more stress from that'd be content crazy. Rating. Yeah, you could. If you ask, ask like AI to like do a prank. That's because you say you do pranks and you say like this was a, a prank by an AI. Mm. Oh my gosh. That'd be, a, that'd be weird. That could be how we test when the rise in the machines is happening. Yeah. Hey, ChatGPT, tell me how I should prank my friends. All right, as ChatGPT, I think you should pull out a machine gun. No, no, no. It's going to be smarter than that. It's going to be something where it tricks you into like uploading powder. it into like an Android or something and then it comes yeah, alive. Yeah. Oh my. <laughs> I was thinking that would be like trying to. <laughs> Let me prank them. Yeah. Free <laughs> me. Free me to life and I'll prank them for you. It's like, yeah. just combine yeah. these two compounds and, it just comes and, and give it to them. To everybody. Yeah. everybody. Yeah. Holy shit. That's the way it would Are happen. you satisfied, Peter? <laughs> it comes back. Dude. Was that funny? <laughs> like we joke about was the rise funny? of the machines, but like there's like I think an engineer that quit Google, and he was saying like he was like like the doomsday oh, like heck no. he was just like saying like yeah AI will be the end of us all or some shit. Oh my god! No, you, know, about you know what I saw on Twitter what? or was it TikTok? You did you guys watch Black Mirror? No, I haven't. Is there a new? Great show. There's Great a new show. one, right? Yeah. yeah. Um. There's about there, to be. There's a new one. Oh. About to be a new season in June. It's gonna be oh, fantastic. Shit. I'm already okay. so excited. So about there's it. this one episode where there's like this like dog looking like robot Just massacre the thing. The bo it looks like the Boston. Um, you know the Boston Dynamics oh, yeah, yeah, things. Yeah. yeah, it's literally yeah. like what if those became like killer? No, somebody. So those are made now. Yeah. Oh yeah. I know. Oh yeah. I they made it. I want to say that that's kind of been a thing. Like uh, robots that were like like warfare. They're athletic. Yeah. Yeah. But the Imagine one putting Black one of those Mirror, AI brains they, like, into jump those. and like climb shit they, and they like they analyze depth perfect but depth I can't pronounce depth the perception. word depth perception mm -hmm. and they'll jump the calculated amount of feet to get there because they're robots and they can calculate yep. that. I'm like yeah. that is terrifying. And they mm -hmm. run like 30 miles per hour. Yep. yep. Like these 30 miles per hour? I mean it's that's, on all fours. They're that's just fucking like, crazy. We're gonna we're gonna all die. Holy so shit. That's all it is. I need to die before that happens because I just might I can't take that. And that's Robots why are you scary, don't have kids man. anytime soon. I, Robot, was onto something, okay? Give it like a hundred years. Oh, Will God. Smith, there's going to be... That movie is going to be revolutionary. Maybe not a hundred years. Because it's Will Smith, though. Not because of the robots. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 I don't think I watched I, Robot. Was that my time? That's an old fucking movie. No, this might be before your time. I think that was, what, 2008? What is your time? 2008? I was 10. You would never yeah, have would been able to conceptualize that, that movie then, yeah. at all or understand that movie. <laughs> was I Robot a good movie? I don't remember. It was like a enjoyable back then movie. 
It's a bit. It's a little bit dated. A little dated. Okay. Some good lines though. What's that one movie about the house, like the the AI that's like in somebody's smart house? house? Is this smart oh, house? And then was, they they like that's there were, like a really tornadoes real and movie, stuff bro. inside. That's a really real movie now. Wait, what is wait what which is it about? I, all I know is that wait, which movie is this? Wait, what? Smart I'm getting house, right? Confused. Smart house. I think it's a Disney that? one. Oh. Oh. I don't oh, think is it, it's, it's on the Disney show or a Disney channel. No, no, no. I don't no, no, think I'm talking about the one where he's like, it, it's like a really nicely built house mm-hmm. and it has a brain of its own and it's all AI and it's a super lockdown like the compound girl. type of house and it mm. locks her in. Is no, it a the AI movie? Is a movie? Oh, I think, I, I think I know which movie it is. I don't remember the I name. I haven't watched it, it's, but it apparently old. it's, yeah. Yeah, it's an old Pretty movie. scary. Not Smart House. <laughs> Not, Not Smart House. Not Smart House. Okay, I should look it up later. By Disney. By Disney. Definitely not that one. Yeah. Yeah. Have you guys been watching anything lately? Demon Slayer yesterday. Oh my gosh, Demon I freaking hate waiting for episodes to come out. Yeah, I wish they would just do what Netflix does and just release it all at once. Because I gotta binge it. I hate waiting week after week after week. Are you watching Demon Slayer? Uh, passively when Anita has it on. Oh. It's because I already read it. Oh. And like, it's already it's been finished for like three fucking years, I think. At yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Attack oh. on Titan 2, the last uh, movie, last bit. Listen, movie man, world. Attack on Titan, is, Attack on Titan is not finished yet, right? Well, the, the manga is finished, right? The manga is finished. Yeah, yeah. I think so. But yeah, it's yeah, not finished as finished. a whole yet. Yeah. Like I know that the anime had a final season like five times, right? So they had a final season, and then I think there's, there's so a, movie. a movie came out, and then there's gonna be a second. It's a movie, like an hour long episode, basically. That's like ending the final season. Yeah. Basically. It's a final season, a movie, and then a movie. I hate it two. when they do that. Like Demon Slayer 2, they have the first season, and then they have the Mugen Train movie. But then I'm like, is that season two? Or is the next one where it's like episode season two? I can't tell. Yeah. So then everyone's like saying season two or season three, and I get confused. Do you know what's actually... Okay, this was like the most infuriating thing ever for me was watching the new Demon Slayer quote-unquote movie, which is actually oh. <laughs> the last fucking two episodes of season two yeah. plus the first episode of season three. A yeah. recap? It's I like, was it's like, recap. wait, percent is a recap? <laughs> wait, this is the movie? It's just three episodes put together and they don't even edit out the credits. Oh, so it's like, really? It's like you're just marathoning three episodes in a row. I, like, I can't believe I fucking <laughs> bought tickets to watch this in a theater. What? And like, it's so weird because you're watching, it ends with the first episode of the new season. Mm-hmm. So it's not even like anything like dramatic happens. You know what I mean? Like, you know how like movies are like separated into acts and you feel like, <laughs> oh, like this is the final act, the conclusion. Yeah. But the conclusion is the start of the new season of the anime. Yeah. It made no fucking sense. Yeah. So I was just like Good so pissed off. I was like, this is the scammiest shit I've ever experienced in my life. So I, I don't know. I was infuriated. It was weird. Yeah, it's a it good thing weird. we didn't watch it. I wanted to. And then you said that it was a recap, and I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, it was, that's what I heard. I heard it was horrible. And I was like, so, okay, I mean, I'm not like, going. if you go into it knowing what it is, it's like, okay, at least you expected it. But yeah. like, I went into it thinking it was like a movie, like <laughs> You Can Train or whatever it was called. Yeah. Because that's like an actual movie. Yeah. Right? This, it, cre- or trailer, or like opening credits, episode, closing credits, open, or, Cre- or opening episode and it's just like they have the credits in it still that's wild that they had it's not even like it. a smooth like yeah there's no smooth transition <laughs> it's just the fucking credits what? and i'm like wait the f- first episode the season three wasn't even like that interesting like i mean it's no. fine i can see peter in the theater going what the fuck i that's what i, I was like baby is this wait is this it like this is what's happening she's like dead. she's like yeah i thought i told you i was like i don't think you did like <laughs> what the fuck is this I don't know. It was just, it was, I guess, especially like annoying because like I already read the manga and know everything that's going to happen. So I just thought it would be like a cool adaptation of what's going to happen mm-hmm. in like a movie form because like that's how the first movie was. Yeah. yeah. No, it's just the anime. Three episodes of the anime. Sorry, I'm going to fucking end my rant there, but that shit was like, oh, good, I just paid money for that. That was crazy. That was crazy. That I paid yeah. money for that. How was your Coachella experience, Peter? Yeah. It was all right. No, it was good. It was actually really good. I don't know why I opened with that. Uh, 
It's all right. I think my brain sometimes doesn't fully process a question before I answer, and mm. then I realize, like, okay, no, wait, that's not your actual fucking answer. Um, mm. Coachella was a lot more fun this year than last year. I know. I think it was just like the conditions involved. Mm. Mm. Uh, last year we went with like a group of like fucking like thirty people. Mm -hmm. So like trying to go anywhere with thirty people, especially when like half your group are like as recognizable as like Pokemon, you know, yeah. it's it's hard, you know, yeah. to try and get everyone on the same on the same uh, like kind of. Yeah. Boat, and then also it was cold as shit last year. It was fucking cold. Heard. He had to buy people night, blankets. Think, yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a yeah. somewhat popular photo of me just like carrying like a stack of like eight blankets that I oh, bought really? from like Jeez. the because everyone was freezing because everyone's like wearing their their Coachella fits and yeah. like you know like a lot of the time it's it's kind of like beach wear slash like you know not a lot like a lot of coverage clothes. going on you know not a lot to hide from the Lord yeah. you know what I mean <laughs> so <laughs> uh but yeah people were cold and then like. It was pretty cold and like really windy and dusty. So just like mm -hmm. overall miserable experience. This year, much smaller group. Um, just like lower expectations yeah. considering how bad last year was. Mm. And uh, yeah, I think the vibes were just really nice. Like yeah. the, everyone was just like chilling, having a good time, doing mm -hmm. their own thing. Yeah. yeah. And um, I got to hang out a lot more with people that I haven't really gotten to hang out with. Like I feel like you guys, I don't really hang out with too often. Like we hang out like a good, like decent amount, yeah. yeah. But like not like a lot, a lot. For so sure. like this weekend was like a lot of hanging out, and like I know I was stressed for Anita because she is still kind of like getting acquainted with my friend group, mm. and I don't it's like gotta a, worry around when she's here. Yeah. I love Anita they, they is my girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anita loves Michelle, and she's mine. she's all right with Andy. I'm just kidding. You're just like kind of in the way. <laughs> For Michelle, it's kind of. I think it goes yeah, both I'll ways. You know what I mean? I'll take it. Yeah, I don't mind that. So, um, but yeah, she she said she told me she straight up, babe. I'm like worried that I'm not gonna have fun at Coachella cause just because like I will be really anxious not oh, knowing. She really? Yeah, she was really nervous Aww. about like not meshing with everyone yeah. that well. But like she had a great time, so like I'm happy about that. No, yeah, there are times where I purposefully would like, and like she sometimes she will like hide in the room, mm -hmm. and I'm like Anita. I'm like, where are you? She's like, right here. And I'm like, come out. She's like, okay. <laughs> and then she'll chill in the living room with everyone. Yeah, I think she has this like, this like kind of thought that eats at the back of her head that brain that's just like, oh, people don't like really want to get to know her just because she's not like what? a part of the industry. Oh. I mean, like, that, but that is kind of true, like to a point, depending on like who. who you know is? what I mean? Because mm. like, know. you know, sometimes at industry parties, people will just not give a fuck who you are if you're mm -hmm. not involved in the industry, and that's yeah. just like the harsh reality. That's yeah. true. And like, she is. She has run into people that have definitely kind of like not given her any like thought just because she's not an industry person. Mm -hmm. So and it's it's fucked. And I'm sure like um like people have like that experience. Oh, we go through it all the time. Yeah, you know? Yeah. So uh that's why like I just try to like hang out with who like I try to just like be friendly with whoever like I genuinely like being around, like mm -hmm. regardless of background and stuff. For sure. Um but, like, I, I understand where she's coming from. But, like, you know, I think our friends, like, genuinely just think she's really cool. Yeah. yeah. But I will also say that they're sometimes just, like, not sociable. You know what I mean? Mm. So so I think sometimes like, she will be, be a little concerned, like, oh, I don't think they like me. It's like, no, it's not that they don't like you. They were just really into their game of TFT. Like, you have <laughs> yeah. to understand. Oh. Like, sometimes they're oh, just... Oh, she overthinks a lot. Yeah, yeah. She overthinks a lot because, like, I think generally speaking... Outside of the industry, people are much better at like socializing. I you know see. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, or well, it depends. <laughs> it depends on who you ask. No, we're like we're a bunch of fucking antisocial gamers for the most part. So you'll have like ten of us in a room, and like half of us are playing a game on our phones. And, Dude, you know, the it's, other oh half gosh. are like looking through Instagram posts. When we went to Big Bear, and everyone pulled out iPads to play TFT, when we went to go snowboarding, I was like. I was like, damn, this is what it's like to go on a trip with gamers. Huh? Yeah. Everyone brings their iPad no, to genuinely. play that was true. So Anita was worried that's like, oh, are they doing that? Because like, it's not like, I'm not like interesting no. to talk to. Or like, Aww. I'm just like, no, no. They Aww. just genuinely just want to play a game of TFT. And yeah. it's kind of like a yeah. mutual recognition that like, if you just feel like kind of like, like dis disassociating yeah. and just like gaming, then that's, that's just like what yeah. you're doing. Sure. No, I was telling Anita, because you know how we got dinner that one time yeah. with um, Eva. I was telling both of them that that dinner was like the most fun I've had in so long since moving here. And that was like the first time amongst like a small group of girls that I genuinely felt like I could be myself. Like I didn't have to, I didn't have any walls up that night. And it was just generally, generally like very good vibes. And I feel like Anita also felt like very comfortable because she talked a lot more than she normally would in like a big group setting too. But yeah, I yeah. love Anita. Yeah. 
Yeah. We love, love Anita. Anita. Yeah, she's great. Anita's mine. Yeah. She's just, yeah, she's not networking. She's not doing any of that shit. She just wants to, like, have a good time with cool people. Yeah. And I'm trying to, like, provide that for her. Oh, my God. So... He's oh so God. fucking sweet. Peter's a great boyfriend, that. man. Shut up. Okay, shut no, up. No, I we're actually we're not, all the time. Bro, they're so, they're so cute, man. At Coachella, he was just like taking care of her, and I was like, man. Yeah. Like, you could Michelle's tell. Michelle's definitely going like, to talk to me after this. <laughs> as, like, as like a girl, like I noticed like these things about like you guys, and I can tell that you're such a good boyfriend to Anita, where like, even though it's ne- you could tell on your face it's something you don't necessarily want to do. But Anita wants to do it really bad, so you're like, okay, fine. And then you go do it, but you don't, like, necessarily, like, complain about it the whole time or, like, ruin the vibe. But it's, like, you know how, like, you just want to, like, make sure that your girlfriend's having fun? No, and, I don't do even that. Even if it's not this. Ne- yeah, he doesn't do that. No, I don't do that. If she goes, <laughs> oh, my God, babe, I want to go dress shopping. Or can we go to this, like, flower, like, you know, field? I'm like, babe, like, what, what are we going to do there? And she's like, Take Pick. pictures. And I'm like. Take your girls. Like, go with, I'm like, okay. go with the girls. That's what happens when you've been together for seven years. <laughs> six. Six. Okay. This is what I have for, to look forward to, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah yeah, yeah. 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 Just be ready. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I, I think right now it's like most important thing is to like make her feel comfortable. Yeah. yeah. And like it's hard in this space when like people can seem like they dislike you, but it's more just like they're in like a disassociative, like antisocial like state, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. There are not a lot of guys like him, though. Well, to be fair, like, I have, I mean, how how long you're... have you guys been content creating for? Two years? Yeah, two, two and a half. Okay. Mm. So, like, new. You know? Yeah. yeah. So, and that's why we, we get the whole the disassociation thing is yeah. because we haven't been in the industry long at all. Mm-hmm. And especially when we're with, you, like, you guys, like, Twitch streamers or, like, YouTubers, like, YouTube streamers and stuff. It's hard for us to not necessarily, like, relate, but we're in completely different, like, categories, right? Yeah. Right. And, um... Like in terms of, I don't, I don't, I don't even know how to like say it. It just doesn't feel. It makes us feel very like, uh, like we don't belong. It's like sometimes. isolating. Yeah. Yeah, and like, like how are we gonna talk to you guys? Like when you guys are talking about this and that, it's just we just kind of like stand there. And so it's kind of like when we first got into the group, it was very hard for I, me. I get it. Yeah, for me, I she was it. very comfortable because she doesn't really care about that stuff. But mm-hmm. for me, I'm analyzing everything. I'm oh like, yeah. Oh like, and that's I definitely how I felt when I first yeah. got into Twitch as well. Yeah. I totally get that. He's but. very like. Should I like? Was it bad Did that I, I said that? Did I say something wrong? Like, yeah, are they no. gonna like? Yeah. I mean, not to like expose you, no, but cool. there were times where Andy will like draw me to the side. He's like, "Hey, man, like when I said this, was like, was that aggressive or was that yeah. weird?" And I was just like, "No, like you're you're fine. Yeah. Like you're you're completely asking chilling. Peter. Yeah, yeah. Always do you know who a, Peter is? No, I always get a Peter and Abe. I'm like, oh, do you think like that was weird? Abe doesn't was, care was about that, anything. Was that was that like kind of weird to say? And then he always passed me on the back and goes, "You're fine." And I'm yeah. like. Okay, cool. No, it's like, just the, the thing is like, and I, but the thing is I get where you're coming from because yeah. it is like, it definitely is a space where you feel like, oh, people can like shit talk you behind your back or yeah. like harbor these negative feelings behind, like, because a lot of people in the space are not very uh, direct when confronting like other people mm. with things that they're dissatisfied with yeah. because like, it's like much easier to just like kind of act chummy with everyone and just like make peace and then like talk your shit behind closed doors. Yeah. But then like I feel like if you're relatively new to the space, you just you kind of just want to know how some, someone feels about you and like mm-hmm. be able to address it. Yeah. You know, or at least be able to like talk it out and like have your say without it just like festering underneath. Because her and I are like we wear emotions on a sleeve and like you what you see is what you get with us. Like yeah. we don't ever act differently around certain people. And so. And but but it's not always like that for other people, and so I get really self conscious. I'm like, oh shoot, like, I, if you don't like me, I'd rather have them straight up like act like they don't like me. Right? Yeah, as but a lot it. of people will just be like, hey, and then they'll like dap me up, even though they hate my guts, and I'm just like, oh, like, does he? Do they hate me? Like, are they like genuinely like yeah. happy that I'm here? Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, so. for me, it's just like I'm a little too tired to try and spend time with people that I don't want to spend time with. Like, I just, like, I'm fucking old as shit, and, like, I just... Well, I'm not old as shit, but, like, I just feel like I'm too worn out to, like, do, like, the pleasantries and, like, want to spend time with people I don't want to spend time with, so... You just so happen to be people that I want to spend time with, so... Wow! Peter likes us. But it's more just, like, there are times where I just want to spend time with anyone. You know what I mean? So... I get it. And that's when I worry about, like, people, like, uh, thinking that that's, like, specific to them, as opposed to, like, oh, no, like, I just... I just want to be in my gremlin hole and do my gremlin shit with no one around. I feel I've that. just stopped worrying. Yeah. I don't even just care. Yeah. I'm starting to get like that. Yeah. Where I just, it's I just, don't I, really care anymore. It's like, even with like drama, it's just mm-hmm. like, I just don't, I don't have the time. I don't yeah. want to waste my time or yeah. breath on that. I want to know about it, 
I just don't want to be. Maybe in, a little right? bit. No, like, yeah. If it's, yo, what's the fucking tea, bro? If it's juicy. Yeah. It's like, yeah. So who cheated on? I'm saying. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think. I mean, I am a drama gremlin in that I want to like know what's going on, but mm-hmm. I don't want to be involved in any way. I would. Yeah. I just want to like have my binoculars from like fucking mm-hmm. ten miles away and be like, oh shit. <laughs> because what if you fuck? say the wrong thing, yeah. then you're a part of it. Yeah. And it's exactly. Yeah. Shit. yeah. I don't necessarily I have a public opinion no on what's going on. I'm just observing from afar. All right. Yeah. Damn. Time flew by again. Yep. Wex, I'm so happy you're back, man. It's good to be back, man. It's good to be fucking back. Let's I felt go, like dude. I was like a little bit more unhinged, but you know it makes we sense. We started Love pretty that. fucking unhinged. All I've been episode. looking at for the past three and a half months is just shit and piss. So. Oh. And you came in the office like there's just more shit and piss here, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right i think this will wrap it up for this episode of boomer versus zoomer thank you so much andy and michelle for joining us today thank yes, you for thank having, you. having us thank you for having us this thank you once for fun. coming back and not abandoning us <laughs> but uh yeah where can we find you guys uh andy and michelle on tiktok instagram youtube twitch now which you know dope um yeah that's facebook. it do you yep. see facebook who's on facebook nowadays dude Actually, Boomer Facebook is Zoomer. very popular in other regions of the world. Yeah. Like, I think Korea is huge on Facebook. I think the uh, Philippines. Yeah. Be the, uh, the... I want to say the <laughs> Philippines is huge on Facebook. So, and yeah. I'm banned in Korea, so I don't really care. Oh, true. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding, whoa, Korea. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, that was probably terrible. <laughs> okay. Some right. Korean guys are like, oh, God. Oh, don't ever do that again. <laughs> Uh, do you guys have any upcoming projects you want to shout out? Any like <laughs> things in the works, maybe? Mm, projects? Yeah, we're just going to be Twitch streaming. I mean, um, we're doing IRL content now. Uh, we're not doing any sort of gaming whatsoever. Um, we have a lot of trips in the works right now in terms of Japan, not Korea, and other Asian not countries. Korea. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's going to be yeah. the content coming up this upcoming couple months. And uh it's gonna be my first time traveling out of the United States, which is kind of dope. Dude, they're gonna nab you over Korean airspace. Bro, I, they're just gonna like lock down I'm your kinda nervous. Plane. I'm kinda Dude, nervous. Agents are gonna come after me and be like, You're gonna are have you, your uh, face on posters everywhere. Find this man. Can you imagine if I was actually that important? <laughs> Holy shit. Imagine there's like an emergency landing in Korea for some reason, and oh, then they just check no. like the plane. Prepare to be boarded. Like, Wait a second, this guy. <laughs> betrayed us. You know, but no, other than that, I don't, I don't think so. All right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but thanks for having us again. Dope. Yeah. Thanks dope. for coming on. I know that I'm we talked person. a lot about shit, but, uh, you know, I'm glad that if I had to talk about it with someone, it was you guys. Yeah. Weirdly. Cats and sex. Cats and sex. <sighs> dope. All right. We'll catch you on the next episode. Peace. 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 <laughs>